All right. So this video has gotten quite a few requests for me to make, and a lot of folks have been wanting to know how I put iOS 6 icons uh, onto the latest version of iOS. And the process is actually very, very simple and involves using the Shortcuts app. Um, but before I dive into doing that and showing how to actually do this, um, let's just take a look at these icons here. So it is obvious that all of these system icons are or have been changed to look like iOS 6. Um, even into here, all the Find My iPhone app, podcast, iBooks, the remote, newsstand, things like that have all been uh, modified to look like iOS 6. And then some third-party apps I have also changed, but not all of them. As you can see here, uh, Amazon I kind of put back to an old-school version. Um, Instagram, I put it back to that old-school uh, classic Instagram icon. Um, as well as iMovie has the iOS 6 type of iMovie icon down right there. And then one thing that I also really like <laughs> that I thought was cool, I ended up putting the uh, old school iOS 4 um, iPod icon uh, on the dock down there for the music, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, but anyway, so now diving into how to actually do this, uh, you want to go over here to the Shortcuts app. So basically all you got to do is create a shortcut that opens an app. Uh, so all you have to do is hit the little plus icon here, uh, and you hit open app, and then that opens uh, that action for this particular shortcut. And then you want to hit on the word app next to the word open, and that's going to open this menu here to let you select which app you want to tie to this particular shortcut. And let's say I want to just make another uh, icon for, let's say, music. Let's just find music here hit music there you go and then you want to hit this little blue icon that has sliders in the middle of it hit that and it brings open this menu um, you want to don't mess with any of these switches all we want to do is hit the add to home screen button there and then we want to name this however we want to name it so i'm going to actually put this to just simply music rather than ipod like i have it currently so music, and then to change the actual icon, you hit the little icon next to the word that you typed, tap that, then you can choose a photo. Now, this is where it comes into play. So all of the app icons I've downloaded uh, and are currently saved in my photo library. And I will provide a link down in the description uh, with a download link uh, that will point to all of these icons if you guys want to download and try this yourself. Um, but for music, uh, I have an icon right here that has the old school iOS 6 music icon. And I'm gonna select that. And then you wanna kinda zoom it in to where it just fits within this square space here. Kinda get it to fit just perfect. There we go, so now it's in line. And then you hit choose. And then right away, you can see the icon now has the music app icon on it. And then hit add here in the top right corner. And it's going to jump out to the home screen. So now you can see we have the old school iOS 6 music app on the home screen. And you can open it and it straight jumps into the music app right, right like that. And you can jump out and it goes back out, which is really, really cool. But if you notice, every time you open the app, at the top, it'll say new shortcut uh, from shortcuts uh, opened. Unfortunately, it has to do that each time that the app is opened uh, via a shortcut. But yeah, so that's how you easily change uh, your icons to look like iOS 6 or essentially any icon theme that you want. So if you have downloaded some other type of iOS icon theme, uh, that ne isn't necessarily iOS 6. Uh, that is the way you add them to the home screen. Uh, that is basically it for this video. I hope I answered your guys' questions on how to accomplish this. And yeah, hit that thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated. Hit the subscribe button as well. Greatly helps out the channel. 
And if you guys have any questions or need help in the process of doing this, drop that down below, and I will try to help you guys the best as I can. And yes, with that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed once again, and I will see y'all in the next one.